Good morning. Welcome to Wake Forest Baptist Church on this wonderful third Sunday of Advent. Today we celebrate joy and what joy there is in this service. This is a wonderful service filled with music and joy to the living God that we are celebrating and that we will celebrate in the upcoming week and a half about. So let's come to God with open hearts, with open spirits as we celebrate our Christ God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ came to give us life, to give us new life, to give us new birth. When we share in the baptism service, we are reminded that we can be born anew. The Apostle Paul said, if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has now come. All this is from God. us here at Christmas. So let us celebrate the good news of this day. So I celebrate and introduce to you my sister Ava Bremus, daughter of Kevin and Stephanie. Ava is a sophomore at Heritage High School. It shines with the love of Jesus Christ in her. So Ava, this I want to say to you. Where God will lead you, we do not know. What God will do with your life, we cannot say. But this much we do know, you are baptized. You are the beloved of God and always will be. So Ava, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Have you committed yourself to being a follower of his for the rest of your life? Yes. And in obedience to the commands of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and upon your profession of faith in him, I baptize you, my sister Ava, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the family. God bless you. Let us continue in worship. Today we light the candle of joy. Hear now the words of scripture from Zephaniah 3, 14 through 17. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout aloud, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. For the Lord will remove his hand of judgment and will disperse the armies of your enemy. And the Lord himself, the King of Israel, will live among you. At last, your troubles will be over and you will never again fear disaster. On that day, the announcement of Jerusalem, Jerusalem will be, cheer up Zion, don't be afraid. For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Please join in the responsive reading. We worship God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We eagerly wait to share in the joy of Christ's God. Jesus is the source of joy for a dark and dreary world. Jesus is our joy. Today we light the candle to represent the joy in our hearts because of the coming of the Savior. May we know the joy of Christ on our lives this day. service, I celebrated the good news that after 61 days, Kathy Page was out of the hospital. What none of us expected was that she is here this morning. Yay. Yes. <laughs> we had prayed and prayed that you would be out before Christmas. We never prayed enough of God that you would be here. So this is such a special gift to see you and Jerry, who have been by her side many many hospital visits that we made together so it's so good to see you a number of you have asked also about joanne stancil our minister of education whose sister faye johnson had a serious heart attack on thursday or earlier in the week in richmond 
Uh, Joanne is up there with her. She is still very critical condition at St. Mary's Hospitals. So hope you'll be in prayer for them as well. But let us go to God in prayer. On this joy Sunday, <clears throat> O Christ, we find their deepest joy that you have given to us the possibility of life and love and laughter. We know that joy is our deepest desire. We thank you for happiness. We thank you for fun. We thank you for good days. But we know those are not always our experience. And so at a deeper place, we pray that you will pierce every person's heart here this morning with a deeper joy that comes in knowing that they have been found, they are loved, nothing can separate them from your love. In this Christmas season, we pray that we can not only celebrate a birth many years ago, but that we can allow room and space for new visitations that bring us to a place beyond happiness and fun, to a place of deep and promising joy. And so for every person here, as we have come to worship with the shepherds and with the wise men, and so now with us, to bow down before you as our King of kings and Lord of lords, may some new visitation now even capture us fresh, that we will be surprised all over again by joy. When our best words fail us, O oh God, hear us as together we pray the prayer you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. The carol we sing is number 120, Emmanuel, God with us. Let us celebrate the God who comes to us this Christmas. May we stand together as we sing.
Christmas, the season of joy. And what better way to express joy than through singing? Nothing warms our hearts more than the familiar carols and songs of the season. Some describe the beauty of a sparkling winter night of snow, tinsel, and twinkling lights. Some celebrate the joy of giving and receiving gifts, or simply gathering around the fire to bask in the warmth of friendship and love. But the real joy of the season is in celebrating the birth of a child, a birth foretold by prophets, one who would come from heaven and bring salvation to a broken world. Today, we celebrate in song. We sing of love and hope and peace and especially joy. We, we sing, sing Christmas. Christmas. Over 2,000 years ago, on a winter night in a town called Bethlehem, the long-expected Messiah was born. And on that night, the world was given a song, a perfect song composed by the creator of the universe, a song that will ring throughout the ages with the promise of eternal hope and joy. In French, a Christmas song is referred to as a Noel, and the very first Noel was sung by an angel to a group of shepherds on a hillside where they were tending their sheep. And that angel was joined by other angels 
until the heavens were filled with glorious voices singing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill to all.
Well, the word Noel refers to Christmas carols. The origin of the word can be traced even further back to the Latin word Natalis, which means birthday. Today we celebrate a birthday because a young girl named Mary was given a divine mission to bring into the world the Song of Songs and to give birth to the King of Kings.
The child born to Mary on that first Christmas came to be known by many names. His followers called him Teacher, Lord, and Master. The scriptures refer to him as Prince of Peace, Wonderful Counselor, and Emmanuel, God with us. He declared himself the Bread of Life and the Good Shepherd. Some called him the Rose of Sharon. Joseph gave him the name the world would sing throughout the ages. Placing the baby in the manger, they gave him the name Jesus.
The birth of Jesus had long been anticipated. The prophet Isaiah wrote, A virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and he shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. appeared throughout the Christmas story, bringing messages and singing praises. An angel told Mary she would give birth. And an angel told Joseph to call the child Jesus. An angel told the couple to flee to Egypt. And an angel told them when it was safe to return to Israel. And on the night of Christ's birth, an angel appeared to the shepherds 
was joined by a whole heavenly host of angels. All praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest. highest. As the shepherds gathered in Bethlehem to witness the blessed event, we gather to celebrate God's wondrous gift of love. As the wise men brought their gifts to the Christ child, we offer our gifts of gratitude and praise. And just as the angels sang on that wondrous night, we lift our voices and hearts in song. We sing of hope and joy and peace and love. Together we sing, Glory to God in the highest.
but thank you. I got to hear you twice. One day we will hear this every morning that we wake up, but that day until that day, it's good to hear it this morning, the melody of God's kingdom, the way the angels are going to sound. We thank you for our music ministry, and thank you, Brian and Janine, for your leadership. Our hymn of invitation is hymn number 140. Perhaps God is speaking to you this morning to come and give your life to the Christ who is born for all of us. You like with this church and another church family, for some renewed commitment, I'll be in the front to receive you. Let us stand and sing to the glory of God, hymn number 140. Seated for just a moment. Let me first say a word of welcome to many, many guests that are with us. You obviously came on a great Sunday. We're delighted that you've added to our company. We hope that you'll look in the program. Be aware of future gifts still in these next week and a half. We'd love for you to share in all the gifts our church offers. If you are a guest, we'd love for you to stop by. We have a welcome center over to the side. Robin from our outreach team. Be happy to share information with you about our church. A couple of activities this week. On Tuesday, we gather in the fellowship hall monthly for our interfaith food shuttle where we serve hundreds of people. If you can come out and be a part of that, I understand volunteers are a little low for this time of year. So everybody come out Tuesday afternoon to help serve those in our community. Also Wednesday night, there's no Wednesday night supper, but we will gather at six o'clock to go out caroling to those who are homebound in our church and communities. Excellent opportunity. So if you'll join me, our newest family members, it's a delight to welcome Paul and Maria Gross, uh, who come upon Statement of Faith and Transfer of Membership. Uh, just a delight to have had a wonderful visit. I, I've got to tell you a story. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say? <laughs> I don't like coffee. I've been in this church 14 years. My favorite drink is Diet Mountain Dew. So, so whenever I visit a prospect, like always, they offer me coffee, and I say I don't drink it. For the first time in 14 years, Paul said, well, how about a Diet Mountain Dew? And uh, he, he didn't know that about me. Uh, so, so I felt right at home. We drank Diet Mountain Dews together. Uh, so these are family, and we welcome Paul and Maria to be a part of our church family and to share in the journey together. All of you want to let them know that expression of delight and welcome our uplifted hand or a sign of celebration. And I hope more than anything you'll come up and welcome them because they are a great, great couple and we're glad that we can be church together. Thank you. So our response during this Advent season to the benediction is printed in your bulletin. I invite you to turn to that. And so let us bow for the benediction. And again, orchestra, Bryant, choir, Janine, Dr. Skinner, thank you. Incredible gift that we've been given. So let us bow for prayer. Christ before you, Christ behind you, Christ within you. Grace upon grace, mercy upon mercy, love, all love. Jesus Christ our Lord, thanks be to God.